A new duplication glitch has been discovered in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom that will allow you to duplicate any item, weapon, shield, or bow. This will severely unbalance the game, but if you still want to do it, here is how. The first duplication method we will cover is how to duplicate any material or Zonai device category of item, which will also allow us to get unlimited rupees. To do it, first make sure you have a melee weapon, shield, and sword all equipped, as this only works if you do that. Next, tap the right trigger to pull out your bow, but don't rack an arrow. Then, hold up on the d-pad and select the item you want to duplicate to fuse with an arrow. In this example, I chose a diamond. Next, open the game menu and go to your bow's inventory. Select your currently equipped bow, which should have the diamond or other fused material on the arrow. Click on drop to drop the bow. After that, equip any other bow, and notice that it doesn't have the fuse material on the arrow. This next part is critical and very time sensitive. You'll need to close and reopen the game menu as fast as possible by double clicking the plus button. If it's done too slow, the duplication won't work. Upon reopening the menu, you should now see the fuse material on your currently equipped bow. This is a good sign, but not a guarantee that you did it fast enough. Finally, select the currently equipped bow and drop it. If you did it all correctly, then the item should be duplicated. You can pick the dropped bows back up off the ground and repeat this process to duplicate any material or Zonai device as much as you want. The fastest way to get rupees with this method is by duplicating and selling diamonds to merchants for 500 rupees each. Just make sure to keep at least two diamonds so that you can easily duplicate more if needed. The second duplication method is how to duplicate any weapon, shield, or bow. It's slightly different from the first one, but involves the same trick. To do it, equip any weapon, shield, or bow that you want to duplicate. It can be legendary and fused to something too, it doesn't matter. For an example, I will duplicate this upgraded Silver Lionel Reaper. The order for this next part is important. With the weapon you are duplicating equipped, open the game menu and create a manual save file. Next, select the weapon you are duplicating and drop it. Then, equip any other item in that category, in this case a melee weapon. Which one you pick does not matter. We then need to close and reopen the game menu as fast as possible, just like with the first duplication method. This is the most important and time-sensitive step. After that, drop the new weapon that you equipped, in my example it's a halberd. Finally, go over to the system tab and load the manual save file from before you dropped anything. If you did everything right, there should be a duplicated weapon of your choice on the ground when you load in, and the other copy will be in your inventory. You can do the same thing with shields and bows, the only difference is that the item you equip after dropping the shield to be duplicated also needs to be a shield. Likewise, the item you equip after dropping the bow to be duplicated also needs to be a bow. I have even tried duplicating a sword, shield, and bow all at once, and it seemed to work. I equipped one of each that I wanted to duplicate, opened the menu and save, then I went through each category and dropped the equipped item, and equipped a replacement. I then quickly closed and reopened the menu, dropped all of the replacements, and loaded the manual save. Upon loading in, all three items were duplicated, but I get the feeling that duplicating this many items at once could carry a greater risk of corrupting your save file, so I would avoid trying to duplicate multiple items at once. And maybe take that as a blanket warning for any duping in general. Only time will tell if there are any game-breaking risks associated with this exploit. Here at the end of the video, I want to stress that I don't think any of this is a great idea to over-exploit. It seriously messes up game balance and I will avoid doing it for the most part. However, I am willing to admit that there might be certain applications that take unnecessary and tedious grind out of the game, making it more enjoyable. In any case, if you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. 
you're helping me feed my cat. Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Tuesday. And as always, thanks for watching.